The death toll from a toxic gas leak that authorities blamed on an illegal gold processing operation in South Africa has risen to 17, including three children. Police at the scene have removed canisters from a community of closely packed shacks and have been sifting through evidence. The leak of what authorities said was a toxic nitrate gas happened on Wednesday night in the informal Angelo settlement in Boxburg, a city on the eastern outskirts of Johannesburg. The three children who died were aged 1, 6 and 15, police said. At least 10 people were taken to hospital, including a two-month-old baby, two four-year-olds and a nine-year-old, according to Panyaza Lesufi, the premier of the province of Gauteng, who gave an update on Thursday. Bodies were scattered literally everywhere. Um, and I, I want to thank our team because they know exactly where each body was. Um, and they know exactly how uh, that particular body arrived where it was. So I thought initially it was just an explosion in one area. But uh, you can see people were running away from the scene. Uh, and then they started to fall uh, as, as they tried to get uh, uh, areas where they can escape. The scene was heartbreaking. It was heartbreaking. Uh, I, I, I regretted why we have to go through that scene. Uh, it, it was heartbreaking. Preliminary investigations done indicate that uh, there is a uh, illegal mining activity that is taking place here. We would have seen by now the police have removed so many cylinders of gas and uh, still removing equipment and dismantling the illegal processing plants that are here. So we are going to be investigating further to determine exactly what could have transpired, go deep, and if there's anyone who can still be held liable and responsible for this, hopefully there can be some action taken against them.